hey everyone welcome back to another video in this video guys i'm going to show you how to fix facebook messenger keeps crashing or not working in your iphone so if the facebook messenger is not your working in your iphone in ios 17 and if it keeps crashing then watch this video until the end i'm going to show you step by step that how you can fix it so before we start the video hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos so guys the first step always would be to force quit and reopen the app it can fix the problem you can open the app switcher and close the app completely and open the app again to see if that problem is resolved so if the problem is still there then move on to the next step the next step is a simple restart sometimes a simple restart of your iphone can give the user fresh start and clear all the glitches in the iphone that are causing messenger to keep scratch or not working you can hold the volume up button and power button at the same time you will see this slide to power off option Simply shut down your iPhone, then wait for a few seconds, then turn your iPhone on again and open the Messenger app to see if the problem is resolved. So if the problem is still there, then move on to the next step. The next step is check for a Messenger new update. You can go to App Store and you can search for Messenger. And if you see new update, update option here, make sure that you click on update and update the Instagram app. It can fix your problem so if the update is not available also check the new update for your ios device go to settings click on general click on software update and if you see any update available here make sure that you download and install that in your iphone so if you have updated your iphone and you still have the problem then the last step would be reinstalling the app go to settings click on general click on iphone storage scroll down and find the messenger app click on show all Click on it, click on offload app and then click on reinstall app. After the app is reinstalled in your iPhone, your problem will be solved. Hope this video helps. Thanks for watching.